I've been producing human music for 10 years, so when I first started using Suno AI, it was a bit confusing. But here's the truth, baby doll. Going from beginner to pro with Suno AI does not mean becoming an AI expert. It just means doing four things really well. And by the end of this video, you'll have a clear roadmap to go from Suno curious to Suno I'm amazing. Number one, learn Suno like an instrument. So this is just about getting comfortable inside of Suno. That's what she said. <laughs> just like a piano or a guitar player learns chords and finger positions first, you just need to use Suno enough to get comfortable inside of it. So try to pick a home base mode. You don't have to use every feature day one. For instance, Suno has simple mode and then it has a custom mode and it has an upload audio. If you're already a musician and you really like coming up with melodies, then uploading audio might be a good home Home base for you if you like to write your own lyrics custom mode might be the right home base for you if you're just getting started and you don't know then the simple spot is the perfect spot for you which brings us to the next tip save your wins if you come up with a prompt that gives you a really good result save that prompt for later for example let's say we had a honky tonk rhythm hyper pop classic rock ballad i don't know why you would use that prompt but that's what came to my head you can click this little bookmark icon to save that prompt for later Later. Then if you click this bookshelf looking thing, you have all the prompts that you've saved. And over time, you can build up a big library of prompts that have worked good for you. And then if your save prompt did something that you really, really like, and you want to make more stuff like that, then you can turn it into a persona. And a persona is basically like an AI artist or an AI band. So that every time you generate something new, it sounds like it came from the same artist. So if you want to do that, you just click add persona, and then you click create new persona, and you select one of your songs to be the that persona so then everything you create using that persona will sound similar to that other song that you made stage two prompt like a pro suno is only as good as what you feed it if you just type something like make a sad song you're basically giving it a blank canvas and a blue crayon to get more consistent pro feeling tracks you want to be able to describe your song using a model that's easy to repeat and remember the one i use is gmiv which just stands for genre mood instruments and vocal Vocals. And if you'd like an easy way to remember the GMIF formula, I have an ebook called 500 Suno Prompts, which comes with 500 prompts across 25 different genres, all with genre, mood, instrument, and vocal tags. Let me show you GMIF in action by taking a prompt like sad indie song and reworking it to make it a good prompt. So first we'd go for the genre. So let's just say indie folk. And then for the mood, we could say something like nostalgic, warm, melancholic. And instruments would be things like an acoustic guitar, soft drums, upright bass, Bass, subtle piano and then for the vocals we'll say intimate male vocal close to the mic gentle delivery because you want to explain the gender of the vocal as well as what technique they're doing and how they're singing and then you can type what your song is about so we'll say a man who left his wife for a ginger puppy Ooh, the ginger pup, the ginger pup carried me where love gave up soft little paws a heart so true I don't even know what a ginger puppy means. I don't think those exist. And another thing you can do to enhance your prompts is use what's called meta tags. And meta tags are just any words that you put into the lyrics box that have brackets around them. And these can be anything from song structure, like chorus, verse, bridge, or it can be production cues, like uplifting instrumentation, or telling it to have a guitar solo or another instrument come in. For the intro, I want it to be instrumental, but I want it to have background vocals. So I have instrumental intro, in brackets and then I have O O O O in parentheses because anything in the lyrics box with parentheses will be taken as ad libs or background vocals and then after that I have verse one uplifting violin in brackets because I want the verse to come in and have a violin in it somewhere we have our lyrics not in any brackets so that these will be what's actually sung oh, 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 oh. Miss my wife, but not that much Cause I got me a ginger pup He looks real cute, but he gets sunburned Just like me, we get in turn
So I added the violin at the end, so we could have actually just done brackets and then violin solo. Kasuno is also going to take into consideration the context, and I guess usually with a folk song, you wouldn't have a violin come in right when the person is singing. And if you want a little cheat code, you can use ChatGPT to generate prompts for you, and it will do really good things, but I would caution against using it every time, because by doing these prompts yourself, you're building the habit of figuring out how to describe things yourself. And I think that skill is going to be what becomes important as AI music continues to grow, is the creativity and writing ability of the individual human actually using the AI. However, if you do want to use ChatGPT, I made this custom GPT, which you can get in the link in the description, called Suno GPT. So let's say you wanted a song about water bottles fighting the good fight. The GPT will ask you clarifying questions to make sure that you describe it better. So let's say that we want it to be funny and cartoonish. So it'll give us this, which is good for the simple prompt. And then if you want, it can also write lyrics with meta tags included. So then you can just copy this prompt into the style box and the lyrics into the lyrics. Tiny heroes on the shelf tonight. Oh! We're just bottles on a mission lined up in a row. Try and, and another way you can use ChatGPT, even if you just have the regular ChatGPT, let's say you have a prompt that you like, you can just copy that, paste it into ChatGPT. You could say, give me three prompts similar to this, but with slight variations. And then once you have that, you can paste that into Suno and then use your bookmark tool to save that for later. Which brings us to our third step. Build a Suno learning rhythm. Suno is evolving really quickly, just like everything else in AI. So if you only use it every now and then, it's always going to feel unfamiliar. So building a learning rhythm is basically just creating some sort of daily habit around using Suno. Make at least one song per day and try to follow people on social media who are doing cool things with Suno. Subscribe. And even try going to the Suno homepage and just looking through what's trending and see what's working for other people. Because I don't know if you knew this, but most songs will have their prompts and lyrics to the side. And Suno also has a Discord and a subreddit, so you can post songs there for feedback, talk to other users, see what's working for them, and every now and then, push yourself to just do something that's outside of your comfort zone. Just something weird. Try to make a prompt that just doesn't make sense, or take the weirdness slider up to like 80%. I do this with my human music as well. I have an alter ego called Hemp Seed Broomstick, which is where these glasses came from, who's a mentally handicapped rapper. I make songs for him that I never release just when I start feeling stuck with my own music because it gives me some type of outlet where I can just be outlandish and a lot of times whenever I do that and I come back to doing my real music I usually have learned something just from breaking my brain a bit and going completely anti-logical and last but not least become a creative director yes Suno AI can do every single instrument it can sing in a lot of styles and it can arrange and produce everything for you but it still can't replace your vision your taste and your care your vision being what you choose to make, your taste being what you like versus what you delete, and your care being your willingness to be able to try prompts over and over again until you get something that you truly like. And if you have any questions about Suno AI, let me know down in the comments, or I'm going to send a militia that I found on Craigslist to your wife's husband's second cousin's wife's house, and they're gonna recruit her 